So, who, who just step onto your job site? It, it is uh, helpful to, uh, to know that building officials are required to carry proper identification with them when visiting uh, inspection sites, when um, inspecting structures or premise in the performance of duties under this code. It is required. So if you don't, you're not sure if there's an inspector, ask for identification. Where it, where it is necessary to make an inspection to enforce the provision of this code, or where the building official has reasonable cause to believe that there exists in the structure or upon a premise a condition which is contrary to or in violation of this code, which makes the structure or premise unsafe, dangerous, or hazardous. The building official or designee is authorized to enter the structure or premises at reasonable times. So not Saturday morning or 9 p.m. after I work. To inspect or to perform the duties imposed by this code. Provided that if such structure or premises be occupied, that credentials be presented to the occupant and entry request. So, if there's occupants, they need to show credentials or badge or identification and ask to enter. They can't just walk in. If such structure or premises be unoccupied, the official First, need to make a reasonable effort to locate the owner or person having charge or control of the structure. If entry is refused, the building official have the resources to the remedies provided by the law to secure entry. The building official shall keep official records of applications, receipt, permits, and certificates issues, free fees collected, reports of inspections, and notices and others issue orders. Orders issue. Such records shall be retained in the office records for a period required for the retention of public records. All claims of liability relative to building officials shall be gov governed by the Massachusetts General Law. Materials, equipment, and devices as approved by the building official shall be constructed and installed in accordance with such approval. Use materials equipment and devices shall not be reused unless approved by the building official. Oh, that is a code. So if there's a use sub materials, you can't just install them unless it's okay or it doesn't cause a problem uh, with the uh, building official. Wherever there are practical difficulties involved in carrying out the provisions of this code, the building officer shall have the authority to grant modifications for individual cases. Um, provided the building officer shall first find that special individual re reason makes a strict letter of this code impractical and the modification is in compliance with the intent and purpose of this code and such modification does not lessen health, life, and fire safety or structural requirements. The details of this action granting modifications shall be recorded and entered in the files of the building official and a copy forward to the BBRS as this board, building board of regulations and standards within seven days. Seven days. A building official, so modifications, they will report it to the board within seven days. A building official may seem resist, seek assistance, not seem resistant, from the district state building's inspector for modifications. So that is his option. 
you can seek assistance. The building official shall not grant modifications to any provision related to areas prone to flooding. So, building officials are not authorized to grant modification for buildings or structures relate to areas prone to flooding as established by this code without a the granting of a variance. There need to be a variance such provisions by the Building Code Appeals Board that go through the Building Code Appeal Board. Also, no variance to requirements of this code can be solely utilized to argue for lawful construction reconstruction where such construction would conflict with requirements of the Massachusetts general law. So when when there there is when a project is is in conflict with the requirement of the law, then the variant will not be issued. So this will be a separate code. Removal, field dredging, or altering of land boring waters, the Wetlands Protection Act, and or other CMRs are applicable. So this is part of this code right here. Matters not provided for. In recognition of the inherent difficulty of drafting a functional code, functional or workable code, that contemplates every situation that may arise in the area of building safety. This section provides the building official, the building code, code appeals board, or the BBRS itself with reasonable discretion to ensure that all life safety issues that may arise in the enforcement of this code may be addressed. Matters not specifically provided for in this code regarding structure, egress, fires, energy, and sanitary or other requirements essential to occupant safety shall be determined by the building official. Or in the case of an appeal, the building code appeal boards. If this provision is used, the building official shall notify the BBRS in writing within seven days when granting a modification or um, an authorization for work that is not provided for in the code. For highly specialized buildings and structures that conform to unique code requirements or nationally recognized standards not required in this code, registered design professionals shall provide sufficient information to the building official to support their approval. So this is another code. Alternative materials, design and methods of construction and equipment. The provisions of this code are not intended to prevent the installation of any material or to prohibit any design or method of construction not specifically prescribed in this code. So even though some designs or method of construction is not described in this code, it can be discussed with, with a building official. Provided that any search alternative has been approved and get an approved from the building official. So that is a separate code right there. An alternative material design or method of construction shall be approved where the building official finds that the proposed design is satisfactory and implied complies with intent, satisfaction, and complete intent with the content of this provision of this code. So it's not in conflict with this code. And that the material method of work offer is, for the purpose intended, at least the equivalent of that prescribed in this code. Compliance with the specific performance-based provisions of the international codes in lieu of specific requirements of this code shall also permit it as an, an alternate. So this is a separate code. 
So when it's the matter is not provided in this code, it can and it has codes, similar codes in the international codes, it can be uh, per permitted as an alternative, as an alternate task. Whenever there is an insufficient evidence of compliance with the provision of this code, insufficient evidence of compliance, or evidence that a material or method does not conform the requirements of this code, or in order to substantiate claims for alternative materials or methods, the building official shall have authority to require tests as evidence of compliance to be made at no expense to the jurisdiction. So this is a separate code right here. This section is related to something, a procedure called test. Test methods shall be specified in this code or by other recognized test standards. In the absence of recognized and accepted test methods, the building officer shall approve the testing procedures. Tests shall be performed by an approved agency. Reports of such tests shall be retained by the building official for a period required for retention of public record, whatever that is. Okay, now we come down to permit. So this may not apply in many situations, but just for the record, that's a code. Permit. Any owners or authorized agents who intend to construct, enlarge, alter, repair, move, demolish, or change the occupancy of a building or structure, or to erect, install, enlarge, alter, repair, remove, convert, or replace any electrical, gas, mechanical, or plumbing system, the installation of which is regulated by this code, or to cause any search work to be done, shall first make application to the building official and obtain the required permit. So for whatever you want to do, except for the ones that are ex um, for work exam form exempt from permit, you must be, uh, first get a a permit. So the following are not required from getting a permit. There are ten items. One is a one-story attached accessory structure less than 200 square feet. Fences not over 6 feet. So 6 feet is okay, not over it. Retaining walls not over 4 feet in height. And unless um, from the bottom of the footing to the top of the wall, unless supporting a surcharge. Unless supporting a surcharge? What's that? Water tanks. Support it directly from gray if the capacity does not exceed 5,000 gallons in the ratio of height to, the, uh, to diameter or width does not exceed 2 to 1. So not to be too tall. Sidewalks and side drives. Driveway can be done without a permit. Sidewalk and driveway. Painting, papering, tiling, carpeting, cabinets, countertops, and similar finished works. Prefabricated swimming pools are less than 24 inches tall. Deep swings and other playgrounds, equipment, window awnings do not uh, that does not that do not project more than 54 inches from the keel wall and do not require additional support. Decks not exceeding 200 square feet and not more than three, 30 inches uh, above gray at any point and not attached to a dwelling unit and do not serve as a landing for the exit door. Exit um, so except for activities which may require a permit rules and special codes, a building permit is not required for these above works.
and and um, this exemption might not be applied to emergency.